and Skimbo. This is intense. We're going to find out who's going to make it to day two of the Madden Classic after these games right here. It doesn't get bigger than this, Scott. So, so True Boy going back with Atlanta, the team that he played really well when he played W in that first match. Put up 24 points, but just came up a bit short. Of course, that means he gave up 27. It was a field goal game. Last second field goal by Dubby. Almost feel like maybe you went to Seattle to get some higher defense, but then he lost the offense he had. Yeah, I think the Seattle, when he switched to him, it was going up against DVJ, knowing that he wants to run the ball. Seattle has a better defense than Atlanta. So maybe a little switcheroo, and that shows some good diversity. When you're a player that can bounce back and forth between different teams in a tournament of this magnitude, that just shows how much diversity you have in your skill set. So it's actually very impressive that he's able to do that. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to pull out a win yet so far, though. It's the boat race <laughs> to get all your substitutions in. It takes a couple plays to actually get everybody set up. Yeah, and what they're doing right there is you press the RB button at the play call screen, and it lets you move people around. So if you got Bobby Wagner at the middle linebacker, but you want to move him to outside linebacker, you can do that at the sub screen by pressing that RB button and start moving your players around per formation. Well, you saw Skimbo there move Earl Thomas from free safety to strong safety before the snap of the football, just so you could have Cam and Earl on that side of the stretch. Yeah, Third and two. You see Skim, he brings Earl and Cam way up into that box right there, and that's to help get that additional run support. He's got his cornerbacks on the outside on islands by themselves. Oh, wow. Well, Freeman will oh. break a tackle and carry a man to the 37-yard line. It's a first down for True Boy. This. These are two of the top players that we had in the MCS last year. These are two of the top players in the world right now. So we've had fantastic matchups just all day long. There's no sweet games here at the Madden Classic, that's for sure. You got the feeling that True Boy needs something good to happen. You know, he's sometimes let some of those plays linger or even a loss linger. He needs some positive plays here. And he finds Mohamed Sanu out at the 43-yard line. And I truly feel bad for him. He's done a fantastic job of keeping his composure, staying in the game, not getting frustrated. But sometimes that's not enough. You still need to execute. And he's catching some bad breaks and not executing as much as he's used to. And he's got himself in a really tough predicament here. And there goes Freeman. And he's going to take this one to the crib. Touchdown, True Boy. And right away, we told you the key to the game for Skimbo, he's going to have to stop that run. And that's not a good sign right there. And True Boy pounded a little bit and then break a big one for six. Skimbo's going to have to tighten up in that area if he's going to want to win this game or it's going to be a long, long night for him. Well, that's what happens. You know, you bring all your defense <laughs> up seven yards from the line of scrimmage. If they get picked up, there's nobody back there, and Freeman just busted one. Yeah, absolutely. It's all fun and games getting them to shoot those gaps. You want them close to give you that run support. But like you said, if they miss that one tackle or he gets in the open field, it's bye bye. What, what do you say? Bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> haven't pulled that one out to the, uh, this tournament yet, but yeah. Freeman's been big for True Boy. And now Skimbo's going to get a chance to respond. Be trailing by a touchdown. Deep breath right there by Skimbo. And man, this is crazy. Pretty much the only one that secured his spot going into the next round is Dub Dot Dubby. Everyone else potentially on the chopping block here, and Skimbo knows that. A little pause going to the death chart. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I was checking a few things out there. Skimbo just went to his def chart. He reordered the def chart. That, what that does is it puts your highest overall players into the top positions, you know, because sometimes your highest <coughs> overall guy isn't the starter. So And, they, you know, they could be injured in real life but not on IR, right? And, and you want to be able to put them in, the, in their normal spots. That's exactly it, Scott. And then as far as getting them in the right place for the formation, uh, that's that formation sub stuff that we were talking about at the play call screen. So second and five, Skimbo's committed himself to running the ball way more than he ever has before. Yep. 
And it, it, that's him adapting to the meta. He said, hey, you see how successful the run game is? We've seen Stevie J have a lot of success. We've seen True Boy, though he hasn't won a game yet, have a lot of success on the ground. It's just something you need to incorporate. You don't want to be stubborn. Skimbo's not that stubborn. And they actually made Skimbo use a timeout for that pause. And the little, the little glitch, his little goof up in, in, in his roster. So the, the officials here decided that they were going to force him to use a timeout for that. That's good officiating over there by our, our, our ESL official Joe, staying on top of the rules because you are supposed to use a timeout in that situation. That's been a thing in Madden forever. You pause the game once we're live, you better burn one of those timeouts. Out of bounds? Well, it was actually Ooh. Clipboard Bay, our good friend Chelsea, who brought it to brought it to the attention and it made it happen. Yeah, Clipboard Bay, now the head. Chelsea of our officiating team here at ESL. I'm, so, I'm right. intimidated. I'm scared. I don't make eye contact. Yeah, she doesn't mess around, but you know what? She deserved that promotion, and she works hard. One of the best in the business. And so Doug Baldwin on a nice find from Skimbo down to the 20, a gain of 26 yards. Look at the focus right there. Locked in. That deep crossing route is still so good. You know, the, you know the user will take out the underneath route, and there you come with a deep cross. You need to have levels out there, Scott. You can't user Jeez. guard everything. You either got a deep yeah. route, a short route. You got to pick which one you want to guard, and hopefully you throw to the one that y your opponent's not guarding. Skimbo did right there. So he's in the red zone, second and ten. Bunch to the right. Richardson is solo left. And Wilson has all day. Uh-oh. And then Reed ended up finally breaking through for the sack. It's a big third down coming up. Third and 16. That's a good coverage sack right there by True Boy. Skimbo couldn't get anybody open. Well, this is why the running game has been the preferred method down here inside the 20. That backs him up to right about the 25-yard line. Wilson finds Richardson, and he drops it right there at the 15-yard line. It's fourth and 16, and you got to take the points. Absolutely. You need to take points right here if you skim. And true boy, that was a big defensive stand for him. It's not easy to hold skim to three. But Skimbo mentioned this. This is one of his concerns. Though he's running the ball, he's always been a pass-first type player. And how good pass <laughs> coverage is in the game right now, he knows that doesn't play to his strength, which is why his confidence hasn't been as high as it's been in the past. He knows he has the capability to get it done, but usually he's he'll come up to you, RG, I'm going to win this whole thing. I'm feeling really good. You weren't hearing none of that at dinner or these past no. few couple, these past couple of days. Yeah, we thought he might have been sandbagging us a bit with this "woe is me," but it's not a great start. You know, he's so good at mutt champions because of the bunch. It's a, a ton of playbooks. Really good at salary cap, but regs is a whole nother world. Yeah. Let's check it with Zach Farley on our other game. Lee Dubby 2-0 and in his group. Stevie J at 1-1. One and one. Fourth and inches, he goes shotgun. Russell Wilson dots it to the corner and lock it. Converts, guys. Back over to you. Well, Appreciate pick. that, Zach. And there is a user Take lurk by Alexander. And he's going to take let's it to go. the house. And Skimbo, right just user. like that, is in front. And he's standing up. He popped right out of that couch. Got a user lurk. Well deserved. Screaming, let's go. And boy, did he deserve it right there. That's not easy to do against a player the caliber of True Boy. But we saw True Boy throw a pick six against Stevie J to that Anthony Barr. Skimbo getting a little taste of his own pick six. That's a huge play right there for Skim, especially when your offense isn't clicking on all cylinders. True Boy is so good at the run. Come on, but the pass like has been his demise. Before, He's thrown two pick sixes, one to Stevie J, and now one to Skimbo. Wow. Yeah, he needs to keep that ball on the ground. And we told you that was the key to the game. He needs to establish that run. He did it early. It resulted in seven. Started going to the air. 
Very costly five, pick five, six. Let's five, let's five, Hands it off to Come Freeman. On. Why did I go to 3 4? Why did I ever go to 3 4? Skimbo saying, why did I go to 3 4? So he's, he's back in this nickel 3 3 5 odd. Yeah, only in the Patriots playbook, which is his favorite team. He's in the Patriots Club Series, and we assume we'll see him in New England, but you never know. And True trying to establish that run. Ran on first down, ran on second down. Gets himself to a third and manageable, but you got to think he's going to air it out right here. Unless he feels this is two down territory, in which case he may run. Well, we move into the second quarter. Skimbo leading by three. Of course, Debbie and Stevie J in a battle over there as well. Go with True Boy, 72 yards on the ground. Wow, Let's big go. sack right there by the defending champ, Mike Skim. Go for it. He's screaming, go for it. Well, he loops him up, and it's Wagner on the loop. And Matty uh. Ice gets absolutely crushed by Robert Wagner. <laughs> hey, after that play, you got to respect him. I'm not calling him Bobby. You calling him Bobby? <laughs> Fourth and 15. Wow. This is not True Boy's game. Uh-oh. Is he tilting right now? He, he might just be, he knows that point differential is a factor, and he needs to get points on the board. I don't think he, he's confident he in the ball. ball. Play, he has a ball. This play. is you huge, Scott. Not... Is he going to hike this? Skimbo's talking to him. Here's the motion. Needs 15 yards. Jeez. Gets rid of it. Has a man. Gabriel so could Let's not go. pull it in. And now Skimbo's got the ball. So Turnover on downs at the 20-yard line. Wow. True's got himself in a what predicament right here? now. Skim up three. Gets the ball at half. All over True Boy right now at the moment. And True Boy started off with all the momentum. Got the touchdown. Held him to three. And boy, has that pick six really changed the momentum of this game. Mm -hmm. Let's check in with Z Farles mm -hmm. on our other mm -hmm. game. Scott, you saw that fourth down conversion. You keep that drive going. And Thomas Rawls has been fighting all day. He puts Dubby up seven to three. Of course, Thomas Rawls from Central Michigan. Do you know the mascot for Central Michigan? Absolutely not. Chippewas. What is a Chippewa? Chippewa is a... Uh, well, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't know, I don't know if it's PC, but it's an honor tradition. That's right. a good way to put it. All right, there you go. Uh, I don't want to throw cake here, but I want to throw this ball. So third and three. Uh, I got something hot right here. Come on. Uh, I got something hot right here. Uh, don't be a bit. Skim talking to himself. Come on, gang. I'm surprised at the lack of trash talk we've seen on this couch. You know, yeah. you're on the Madden Classic. You thought they'd be going back and forth with each other all day here, but really talking to themselves more than to their uh -oh. opponents. Wow, big stop right there by True. Good D. Could get rid of good it. D. Give us props to True Boy. Oh, man, good D. Take True. a look at it again, RG. Here comes the heat. Screaming. He got two defenders in Russell Wilson's face. Had Skim scratching his head after that one. True. A sign of relief right there. Keeps it a one possession ball game. This is going to be a big drive for the young man uh, from California. Man, I got to have seven. 256, have seven part of that man. top Madden crew. Got a lot of supporters here in the studio. Yeah, and, and that's the thing for those that don't know, Madden players, even though Madden's a single player type game, they roll in crews. You need, uh oh. You need, like we said, iron sharpens iron, so you need people to laugh with. You got Dubby and Skimbo representing Team Need It. True Boy uh, no rolls with Problem and Drini and the top Madden crew with Young Kiv. So everybody's got their lab partners. Those are the guys you practice with. Yeah, when you're on your own, it just makes it really tough uh, to know the meta. To, you know, you, you sh sort of share your recipe, so to speak. And that's what we talk about when you hear us. No, oh, when you hear us say the Madden community, it's because nobody really goes rogue and is by themselves. In all my years, a decade, over a decade of watching competitive Madden, there's very few people you see have success that are kind of loners. You always need to get yourself a community, a crew, people to lab with, people to practice with. And that's one of the cool... Oh, oh Freeman! He moves by true! A little spin, a little juke him on my horse, another spin! I'll absorb the big hit and I'm here to fight! There you go, 
True Boy, way to get nasty. Uh, down to the 13. We Ew. thought he was down on the mat, but then he puts him in the spin. Even when he has a good play, he still, still looks like he's not satisfied. It's almost every time I try to start telling the story, True just breaks a, <laughs> breaks a big run and I got to shut up. And that's the two-minute warning here. We got a six-point game. Skimbo playing with the Seahawks, leading by six. True Boy needs this win to stay alive. Oh, that was a huge momentum ga gainer for True. But like you said, the touchdown is way better than the field goal right here because Skim getting the ball at half. It's the HB Wham to the nine-yard line. Second and seven. There goes Skim back, and he was saying, why did I go to 3-4? But you look on the play call screen right there. Back in that 3-4 odd, so. You know, that's the thing, you're sending three wide receivers, you got a tight end out there. So you got to respect the pass, and then next thing you know, he's stretching you out for a touchdown. Yeah. The adjustment that I've seen Dubby and Skim make is they're controlling their safeties here to stop the run. Keeping the linebackers in the box, using control in Earl Thomas or Cam Chancellor, and then manually trying to shoot gaps. That's an old school tactic. You don't really see people play with their safeties as much anymore in competitive Madden, but Skimbo and Dubby obviously hit the lab and they feel that gives them the best chance to stop the run. Well, it's a big risk. We've seen them get hit for some long pass plays. Feel they need it for the run. Yeah, it goes back to his linebacker on third and seven. Tries no to play to maker, both situation. of those guys up. And Matty Ice fumbles out of bounds at the four yard line. It's fourth and one. Wow, this is awkward for True Boy. He's going to go he's for this. He's got to take the points. Look at him thinking about it. I think he knows he wants to go for it, though. He knows this is big. You're saying take the points. I'm a, I'm a take the points guy, but he feels like a touchdown. A good change the momentum. This is a huge play, fourth and one. Who's going to stand up for himself right here, Scott? Skimbo still only three linemen right now. Ready to shoot one of those gaps with Earl Thomas. Is it going to be True Boy or is it going to be Skimbo? Stretching it out, and there is the Seattle defense there for Skimbo. So a big play for that man right there. Wow. What an animal skim is. You let up that big run. True Boy jukes you and spins you out of your shoes. It's, it's looking a little bit grim. And then you just get stingy on the goal line to get back all of the momentum. And there is that HB base again. We'll have to mark the tape oh at that point God. where he didn't take the three points. And the, the other question here is if Skimbo can go down here and catch three or seven, then you're talking about a six to ten point swing. Also, point differential could become a factor. That's a hot one right there. The hot sign's on. Wow. Skim just marching right down this field. If he can make this, just get in field goal range even, kick the field goal, make this a two possession game, and get the ball at halftime, it's not going to be looking good at all for True Boy. A deep bomb to lock it. Wow! And he's down to the six. He's got no timeouts. Oh, my yeah. fucking God. Oh. And True Boy. That was True Boy. That wasn't RG who said that. That was True Boy. Oh, <laughs> uh, that timeout kind of Trying to keep a right PC now. up here. <laughs> Well, that was a huge throw by Russell Wilson. I know people have been talking about inaccurates. That was Russell Wilson under pressure, rolling out of the pocket, and just launching a missile deep down the field to get skimmed to the six-yard line. That was a huge play from the See if he it right here. Skin. No, he's going to go to the air. He has B wide open, and he throws it off the goalpost. And that's because he went for the high pass in that situation. Anytime you go for that high pass, it's going to significantly increase your chance at an inaccurate pass. You see the high pass text pop up right there. Uh, so that's the risk with the high pass. The benefit is it gets it over those user defenders. And he will wham it. Got to be careful here. He's got no timeouts. True Boy will lend him a hand. 
Just trying to get the ball back before the end of the half. Yeah, maybe try to take a page out of Duke's playbook, break a big run or something. It's a big play right here. You can't give up the points, though, because you make it a two-score game, and he's like at the county fair just throwing it off the goalpost. It's a safe throw. That's one of those my guy or no guy type yeah. of throws. You know what I mean? High pass in the back of the end zone. Either Jimmy's going to get his hands on it or it's going to sail, you know, way out of bounds. No risk. Good play I call by Skim. Takes his three. Up two possessions. Gets the ball at half. Just can't let anything crazy up with this last uh, 17 no, seconds here. So it's a six-point swing. It could have been 13 to 10. But instead, a big stop. And a long drive on the big bomb, no and it time. leads no to a field goal with 17 seconds remaining in the half. Nine-point game. True yeah. Boy needs to get sticky with it. Yeah, that was impressive by Skin, too. He was backed up on his own four-yard line and then turned it into points. That's not easy to do, especially when you're going up against elite-level competition like True Boy. A lot of respect between these two guys. He's going to go to the air. God damn. What and he I throws doing? a uh -oh. pick. Uh oh. Oh my God. And can he get in field uh -oh. goal range? Wow. That was a three point interception. <laughs> what am I wow. doing? A true boy, you remember, he called those timeouts when Skin was down at the goal line to leave some extra time in there, trying to get greedy to go get some points. And he's really costing himself right now. Just gave him you saw his lips. Points. If you could read him, he said, what am I doing? Uh, I don't know, bro. I don't I know. know. It's a rough game so far for True Boy. Could have been three-point game at halftime, and now you're down by 12. You don't have to help Skimbo, trust me. Yeah, and all under a minute, too. You, you know what I mean? It, it happens that fast, Scott. And you said mark it down to that one moment before half where he decided to go for it on fourth what and one. You said, remember that. And like you said, ended up being, what, a six point Scared swing just like that? It's, it's, it's really tough for True. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, He's, that final minute of the half. half boy, things ball. change. He had the ball on the, it was fourth and one. He had the ball on like the five yard line. Decided to go for it, didn't get it. And next thing you know, it, instead of a three-point game, it's a 12-point game. Yeah, my heart goes out for him. I know he's frustrated. Is, but now uh, you got to think, Skimbo's in a situation where if Stevie J can take out W and Skimbo can keep this momentum yeah. going, Skimbo's going to find himself in the Final Four, which guarantees him $12,500. That's a $5,000 swing, Scott. And that's really why Skimbo was sick when he lost this to W. He was just terrible. like... Man, that could have been the buy I needed. Absolutely, he knew it. And th like that's this. really rough. True boy still talking to himself over there, trying to get through the frustration. Skimbo's got to be feeling happy. Man, this Madden Classic's been bananas. Well, let's go to halftime with Dave and the guys. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, RG. This has been a bananas Madden Classic so far. Rico, it's 19-7 at the half. Skimbo has the lead. Talk me through some of those questionable decisions towards the end of the first half that True Boy made. I think it all started going back to the last game when he decided to go for two. I know Scott was perplexed. RG did understand the math. I think True Boy is literally on tilt right now. He's just trying to reach and grab because his run game isn't getting him where he used to be. Right now, he needs to stay focused, realize it's a long half, and try to just chop away at this. Final score could be 21-19 if he puts his mind to it. He's got to get the win, otherwise the only top Madden we're going to see is in the post-game exclusive Mixer show, which you should tune into after the game on Mixer.com slash Madden. Nice plug there, Farrells. You know? Very, very nice. Now, Farrells, we do have another game going on right now. It's the W versus Stevie J matchup. What have you been seeing in that B game? Well, I got some pretty nice highlights for you. W's been making some big plays, but it started out with Stevie with some big time routes across the middle. He was able to cash in on a field goal on fourth and three. He took that three nothing lead. But W, he's happy with just giving up the field goal because he comes down the field. Thomas Rawls makes it 7-3, and then he grabs another one to go up 10-3 with a field goal. Stevie J started with the ball after the half. Dubby got a big stop in the red zone to get it back. So it's now 10-3 Dubby. He's got the rock, and he's looking like he's in control. So this could go so many ways. You really got to stay locked. 
Absolutely, this is the Madden Classic. There has been some classic Madden being played all day. We've also been looking at all of our Madden covers from years past. Guys, I like Madden that one on Xbox One. 15 Sherman. This one is aggressive catch year. Odell Beckham one-hander out there inside zone. Last year, Gronk, the skimbo year. Looking fancy. And then you got the GOAT. The GOAT edition. I mean, that is probably the best cover in Madden's history. The biggest athlete in Madden's history. That's right. History, that is sure. the GOAT. Here are our Group A standings. Dubby still sitting pretty at the number one seed, 2-0. and oh. Skimbo and Stevie J at 1-1. One and one. True Boy trailing. He's 0-2. Oh he has got to pick it up here in this second half. For right now, we have got Adrian. She is down on the sidelines with True Boy. Adrian, let's head to you. Thanks, Dave. True Boy, right now you're down eight points. You did strike first. Freeman, that beautiful touchdown. But then after that, picked off twice. One ended up in a score and the other a field goal. Can you tell us what are you thinking now? Uh, I just got to fight at this point. I'm not playing like myself right now. Uh, it's really all on me. I'm making so many mistakes I usually don't make. So I just got to step it up. And you're the only player who's local here from Woodland Hills. And so you have family and friends around. How is that impacting your game? Uh, it's not really impacting my game. I mean, just treating it like a normal game. Well, I'm sure they're happy to support you. Best of luck in the second half. Dave, Rico? Well, I'll just take it from here. Why not? I mean, I can be Dave if you want to be Rico. I could be Rico. Why are, you, are you cool with that? I, I could be Rico. I, I could I could have I could have probably th threw some jabs right there, but Rico's my guy. I could be Rico. <laughs> no, he was very nice. He was complimentary to you about the nostalgic uh you know, your nostalgic rivalry between Absolutely, you. Scott. <laughs> Absolutely. Killer. All right, we got a we got well, it was a good one. It's still a twelve point game. It's going to be a big half for True Boy. He talked about making mistakes that he just doesn't do. And uh, it's been a mighty surprising last minute of that half. Yeah, and but I, I have to give him credit, though. It, he knows he's not playing well, but the one thing that, that he has kept in check is those emotions. So just like Joke, it's good to see him really get over that hump. So if he can continue to do that, work on the things that he's messing up, we will see him make some noise later on in this year. I can guarantee that. True Boy is no joke. I know he's not playing great Madden football right now, but this is a top elite level player that will be around later in this year. And don't be surprised if he could put some something together and get himself back in this game. It's just going to be really difficult when you're going up down 12 against the defending champ, Mike Skimbo. He's got his hands full. Well, the good news is he's playing Skimbo, who's... Not a great runner, you can see right there, only 10 yards on the ground, so he doesn't use a lot of clock in his possessions. So True Boy's gonna have some chances here. The other thing is, man, you don't wanna say if, what's, buts, whatever, but if True Boy was in the earlier group, you know, it's this is a tough group. This group A is rough. This group is very rough. I mean, you got three of the guys in this group were in the top 10 in MCS points just last year with Dubby, Skimbo, and True Boy. I mean, these guys were not messing around. Uh, Stevie J was 33. I mean, four players that were in the top 33 in one group. Yeah, absolutely. Stevie J could have easily been a part of that last finals had uh, some things went a little different for him in that club series. And there is Thomas Rawls, and Skimbo is gonna score on the ground? Question mark. Wow, look at Skim. He knows that he is in complete control of this game. He's most likely going to win it up 26 to 7. I mean, now the, the interesting question is can Stevie J beat Dubby? Or can Dubby hold on to his 10 3 lead that he had that Frawls gave us the update on and secure his spot into the final four? Either way, I have a feeling that somebody from Team Needed is going to be in the final four of this Madden Classic and get the bye coming out of this group. That's absolutely uh, taking a sneak peek over there. It's Stevie J with the ball with 451 left in that game. So still anyone's game over there. And now True Boy. It's not a TKO yet, but he's been knocked down to the mat a few times in this one. Speaking of the other game, let's check in with Zach Farrells. Stevie J back with the rock. Dubby all smiles so far. He's got the 10-3 lead, but Stevie can drive here. And if he can go the distance, he can tie this thing and get the victory. 
Pearl. Big time second oh. down where he's all the way backed up in his own area. The pitch has not been working. He's got to find a way to pick up this pressure. He throws the ball away. If he gets over midfield, guys, I'll let you know. Please do, Zach. That is a big, oh, big drive for CBJ over there. And this is a big drive for True Boy. If, if you want to believe, if you want to fight, and, and sometimes it's all about fight. You can't lay down here and let Skimbo beat you by 30. That night, you're right. <laughs> you never know if you're going to make it back here. You got to leave it out loud on the field. And that's a good start. You find Julio Jones, and he gets into the end zone. First time we've seen Julio in a deep man beater. Here's the thing, do you go for the onside kickoff, Rip? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I just keep I it am. going. I, I roll the dice as much RNG, uh, you know, RNG as I can. I just, I, I, I put it out there and, and maybe things bounce my way. Yeah, maybe I can catch a break, maybe I can get some luck. And let's be real, if he can get an onside kick right here with three minutes left in the third, Get a quick score, make a one possession game. He's right back in this. Take a look at this again. Julio Jones, the former Alabama Crimson Tide, walks into the end zone. So here's what's going to happen. He's going to kick the ball off. And he needs to D up on Skimbo. If he can get a stop before the end of the third quarter, get the ball back, maybe score by, by the, you know, uh oh. Uh oh. Are you My kidding me? Pressure. Are you yeah. kidding me? Lockett Are you is kidding gone. me? Jeez. One man That's to beat, and he'll push him out at the three-yard oh, line, no. and that was big. These three yards are tough. I'm over here going on a rant about how <laughs> True Boy's going to get himself right back into this game. Makes the mistake kicking it off the skimbo, and he just gets to the sideline with Lockett on his horse. True Boy fortunate that he didn't get in for six right there. This guy, Skimbo, gets it done on all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, and special teams. That's and what there Chuck is Thomas doing. Rawls. Boy, it looked like he broke the plane on that, that spin animation when he got hit. But they got to mark him at the half-yard line. And for Skim, that just allows him to continue to take clock. Take away clock from True Boy, which is one of the most precious things for him right there. 12-point game, a touchdown would put True Boy in a bad spot in his QB sneak. Uh, you haven't seen a lot of those this year, but that's six points for Skimbo, and the extra point will make it seven. It's just so demoralizing. You do everything you can to get back into the game, and then you just let up a big play like that, Scott. Very demoralizing. And Goodwin should have blocked that one, but it's good. Let's go over uh, Z Farrells. Update over here, and it's Dubby, after a punt, hands it off to Thomas Rawls, who's having himself a day, and this Madden Classic goes all the way in. It's now 17-3. Stevie's back on offense, but on his own half. Well, the Need It Boys RG are looking pretty good. You got 33-14 to 14 over here, and you got 17-3 over there. And I'll be honest with you, I've been really impressed with True Boy's running game. Stick work, have not been impressed with his defense. Yeah, that's a, that's a very Gave up 27 point. to both CBJ and Dubby, and now he's given up 33 in two and a half quarters. Yeah, so that's a very good point there, Scott. His defense has just not been performing for him at all. But I'm gonna be interested to see what this bracket looks like tomorrow. You gotta assume the way things are looking, You'll have W with Tweezy with the buys. And then you're going to have Stevie, Skimbo, Joke, and Chaos battling out to see who's going to face either Tweez or Dubby. Well, he made it to every event last year. True Boy did. And he's going to bounce back, but Camp Chancellor is... Gonna go ahead and rub some salt into the wounds. Oh my goodness. And here's the, here's the other thing right here. Skimbo's a good guy. He's been a great champion, a good winner. But there's some beef between Dubby and True Boy. And right now, maybe, maybe a hang a 50 burger on him just cause he's been dishing your boy. I'm just saying, yeah, no. there's still some drama out there. Hey, it's very much possible. You see him take this back, pick six, up 40 to 14. 
And Skimbo's got Duppy's back, man. Like he said, that's his guy. He gives him the offense. He gives him the defense. One thing you know for sure, our guy Boogs, Reggie Brown, the other member of Team Need, it's got to be at home. Looking, watching like a proud papa, <laughs> seeing Skimbo and uh, Duppy handle business. Looks like they're handling business. Well, you know, you see this with several teams, even at the NFL level, where you're a running organized team. You do great when you have the lead because you can run the ball, you can work the clock. You normally lean on your defense. But if you're a running team with bad defense, or if you find yourself down, you know, 26 points, that's not your game. Yeah. You know, that's not the game for you. Th that's why I, I like the way W and Skimbo play. They said it's a running type meta, oh but they have pass type offenses, and that allows them to get themselves back into the game, no matter the situation. True Boy not really falling into that category. I mean, it's very similar to what the Patriots did to the Falcons last year. You know, they're the type of offense that they can go down 28 to three, get themselves back into the game. Not everybody's built like that, like you said, Scott. Well, this is any any ray of hope. This is it, fourth and two. Almost close to the fourth quarter here. He'll run a play. And he will pick up, nope, he dropped it. Oh, oh my man. God. GG's. This is a current job. This is pop, 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 and I'm not talking those Funko figures. Well, let's go over to the other game. It's a 14-point oh. game, Zach. 14-point game, a dot from Stevie. Just got down to the five-yard line. He converted a big-time fourth and 14 to Thielen on the sideline. He's got three timeouts, so even though it's under the two-minute warning, he'll be able to stop the clock, and you're going to get W here to take a timeout. We'll hang on this one for just a minute here. See if they get in on this first and goal play, Scott. This is a big play. He's got to not take a sack. He can't force the run here. He's got to just get the clock in his favor with those three timeouts, not let it tick down too much. He's under center with Teddy Bridgewater, goes up the middle, and Earl Thomas, who else makes the play? I'm holding it here. Let's see if he gets in on this possession. Second and goal, he held out. Was up the middle, Murray, clock still moving. He's saving his timeouts. He's trying to go quickly. He's gonna go back to the play call menu rather than go hurry up. I form tight. He's going to the wing. Maybe he goes for a high point pass. Kyle Rudolph's a big fella. Could be a good option. Third and goal. Four down territory for Stevie. Tosses it out, keeps it back in, and now he will have to score to extend this game. Dubby. 2-0, already in. DBJ, 1-1, one one, has no idea what's happening in the other game. Probably freaking out, probably perspiring. Vikings, 50 seconds. He's taking his time, he needs this. Play action. Tries to scramble, can't get out, and Dubby takes over on downs one more time. He will hang on in this one, Scott. Let's throw it back over to you guys. Yeah, it looks like Dubby's gonna hold on there, and I, I don't have much to say with this, but it's 47 to 14. Yeah, it looks like W's going to take that game with Stevie J. Like you said, he'll get the bye. Skimbo and Stevie J will be the others to advance out of this group. You know, this game's a blowout. Let me take a second, Scott, to say, you know, we're here at the Madden Classic. It's paying tribute to old school yeah. Madden. And let's just take a second to look at how far competitive Madden has come. Oh, yeah. Back when I was playing the Madden Challenge, the first year of it was 2003. That's the Madden 04 game. There was only eight opportunities to make that Madden Challenge finals. There, there's historically only one tournament a year. Um, it was very hard to be, you know, get to an event to profit out of this. It was kind of a winner-take-all type format. And now we find ourselves where we're here at the Madden Classic, eight guys by themselves competing for $100,000 in prizes. We still have the Madden Challenge, where another eight guys are gonna get to play for a big chunk of cash. We have 32 NFL clubs involved with the season this year. We got the entire club series. And then on top of that, we're gonna have the Ultimate League. Esports and competitive gaming is growing rapidly, and it's an honor to see Madden be a part of that and to see the pace at which this sport is growing. It's fantastic. I couldn't be more excited. And if you're a fan of Madden or competitive gaming, you should be excited too because you're getting to be a part of something special. Two-minute warning, and we got a 33-point game. 
And I don't, I don't think Skibbo's done. I mean, I know he wants to work the clock here, but I don't think he's done. You were screaming 50, Burger. I mean, that, that would feel good. If he could somehow pull that off. Tell him the clock. Doesn't feel good to me. <laughs> Heart goes out the true boy. He, he's going to be able to take this experience, bounce back. I'm sure we'll, he's a defending Club Series champion. I'm sure he won the Jacksonville Jaguars Club S Series last year. I'm sure we'll see him at one of those events. He can still qualify for the Madden Challenge. For those that don't know, that's that ladder's open right now in Mutt Draft. So if you want to be a part of one of these events, you know, you go out, start playing. You never know, we might be caught. I love calling new faces games. That's one oh, of yeah. my favorite things. Anytime oh, yeah. we get someone that we haven't seen before and you see people make a name for themselves, that's what eSports all about. It's one of my favorite things about competitive gaming is anybody can do it. Well, these guys have said GG to each other, good sportsmanship. But Michael Skimbo, after losing a game to Dubby, his boy ends up coming back, taking care of business with a big ol' win over true boy yeah michael skimbo aka the professional when he needs to get the <laughs> job done he gets the job done and uh you know he's going to be relieved to be getting out of groups but there's also going to be some disappointment there knowing that dubby beat stevie J, and he'll be the one getting the bye uh, coming out of this group well you had your chance you know you, you had a chance to beat him you you had the ball in the red zone against dubby you threw a pass and, well, Earl Thomas happened. And it's funny because Skimbo says he's the, the brains behind Team Needed. He gives Dubby <laughs> everything. But Dubby's now 2-1 and one yeah. against Skimbo, and he's beating him in some pretty big games. So I don't know if Skimbo wants to run into Dubby later on in this tournament. That, that might be his kryptonite. Let's go down to Adrian. She's standing by with a winner. Skimbo, congratulations. You finished 47-14, 2-1 on the day. How would you rate your performance? Uh, that game or the day? The day. Uh, I give it about an A. You know, Dubby, you know, he knows what I'm going to do on offense and defense. Like I said, you know, respect for everyone in my group, respect for Dubby. But, you know, he stole my stuff this year, and, you know, he knows how to stop it too. So it is what it is. So as you move on to the next stage, who is it that you're really looking forward to playing? Looking forward to playing Chaos. I'm pretty sure that's who I play, and that's all on my mind right now. And why Chaos in particular? Because that's who I play first. <laughs> that works out. And so tonight, before you move on to the next stage tomorrow morning, what do you plan to do? Game film. That's all it's about. RG, Scott, they all know. I'm going to go to the room, and I'm, I'm watching every game he's ever played in his life right now. That's all I'm worried about. All right. Well, good luck on the day, and congratulations. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Adrian Rico. We have